Hi friends, what do you see on my face? Do you see this pretty ladybugs? I have a book today, The Very Lacy Ladybug. The Very Lacy Ladybug by Isabel Finn and Jack Tickle. This is a story of a very lacy ladybug. She liked to sleep all day and all night. Because she slept all day and all night, this lazy ladybug didn't know how to fly. One day, the lazy ladybug wanted to sleep somewhere else, but what could she do if she couldn't fly? Then the lazy ladybug had a very good idea. When a kangaroo bounded by, she hopped into her pouch, but the kangaroo liked to jump. Boink, boink. Boink. I can't sleep in here, cried the lazy ladybug. It's too bumpy. So when a tiger padded by, she hopped onto his back. There she is. But the tiger liked to roar. Rawr. I can't sleep here, said the lazy ladybug. It's too noisy. So when the crocodile swam by, she hopped onto his tail. There she is again. But the crocodile liked to swoosh his tail in the water. I can't sleep here, said the lazy ladybug. I will fall into the river. So when the monkey swung by, she hopped onto her head. But the monkey liked to swing from branch to branch. I can't sleep here, said the lazy ladybug. I'm feeling dizzy. So when a bear ambled by, she hopped into his ear. But the bear liked to scratch. I can't sleep here, said the lazy ladybug. He'll never sit still. So when a tortoise blotted by, she hopped onto her shell. There she is. But the tortoise liked to snooze in the sun. I can't sleep here, said the lazy ladybug. It's too hot. So when an elephant walked by, she hopped onto his trunk. Alas, thought the lazy ladybug, I've found someone who doesn't jump or roar or swish his tail or scratch or swing or snooze. But at that very moment, do you see the ladybug? It's right there. The elephant sneezed. Ah, uh, shoo! And poor old lazy ladybug. Let's see what the ladybug's doing. Had to fly at last. Look, the ladybug learned how to fly. The end. Bye, friends.